Who says apocalypse technology can't be cute? I'm Donald Bell for Cool Tools, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a $35 wireless air quality sensor from a Japanese company called Airmon. I'll explain why you might wanna pick one up. For better or worse, there's a lot about global warming that's easy to ignore. Wildfires aren't one of them though, and they're happening more frequently and in more places than ever, and that means more smoke in the air. As a native Californian, I'm all too used to the idea of fire season, sealing up the house, turning on the air purifiers, and checking the AQI report before I go outside. But until recently, I never had a good idea of what the air quality was like inside our house. The Airmon is a little cube with an air quality sensor inside and a rechargeable battery. You charge it up over USB and connect it up to your phone over Bluetooth. There's a free app that you can get for either iPhone or Android. You open it up, pair it with the device, and then tap it to take a reading. And because it's Japanese, it's adorable even when it's telling you that the air is trying to kill you. The sensor is made by Sharp, which gives me some confidence that the measurement is accurate. The sensor uses a laser to specifically check for PM2.5 and PM10 type dust particles. When you activate it through the app, you can hear it quietly whir for a few seconds as it sucks in air to pass over the sensor. Now, I got this to help me get a better sense of whether our air purifiers were really working and what areas of our house tended to have the worst air quality. Not only did it work, but because it's wireless, you can easily take it from room to room without having to plug it in. This also means you can take it outside. You can take it in the car, which has surprisingly bad air quality, and you can take it with you on a trip. It's just a super handy design. So that's the Airmon wireless air quality monitor. And from what I can tell, it's a vastly more affordable option than the other competitors I've seen. It's super portable, it looks good, and the app delivers the kind of cute and quirky experience that I find refreshing when the skies have turned a hellish orange. You can find a link to the Airmon down in the description, and you can find thousands of reader recommended tools like these at cool-tools.org.